Morning and welcome all college basketball fans. We have an exciting night of hoops ahead of us as the Temple Owls take on the Wichita State Shockers here at the gorgeous Leacore Center in North Philadelphia. The Owls come in tonight seeking to break a three-game losing streak. And on the other hand, the Shockers are looking for back-to-back -back wins following a win against SMU on Sunday. All, all this AAC matchup could shape up to be one exciting event. My name is Jesse Dimitrilve alongside Andrew Mayo. We'll be providing coverage here of Temple men's basketball for the evening. And Different stat. Pierre Jr. now at the line shooting two. Gets the first one to fall. When we look at Pierre Jr., that's going to be his sixth point of the evening. And so far, that's on his first free throw of the night as well. And connects on the second. Shockers leading now, 43-36, 18-24 remaining. Miller now brings it over half court, setting up the play. Dishes it off to Dunn on the left. Over to back to Dunn, over to Miller. Miller draws baseline here. Looking, gets a nice little jumper to fall. Great little move there by Miller. That's Miller's 13th point of this evening. He's, in my opinion, been the biggest factor so far for the Oh, Owls. and a great blow by by Rojas there for the two-handed flush. Just completely outmaneuvers the Temple defense. That's Rojas' eighth point of the night here, being a big factor in this first half, continuing the second half. Done now looking. Finds a wide open Jordan for the two-handed slam. Great ball movement there for the Owls. You see Temple is not afraid to respond with capitalizing plays of their own. Owls playing a little bit more scrappy here to start the second half. Tight, much tighter defense. I think McKee had something to say in the locker room. 45-40 here for the Shockers. 17-24 remaining as Nick Jordan will check out of the game. Substituted by Jaleel White. Jalil White's probably going to come in here looking for his first points of the evening, going 0 for 1 from the field with no points so far tonight. Pierre Jr. now dishes off to Poto at the top of the key. Over to Flanagan on the right elbow. Back over to Rojas. Rojas now working on White. Tries to back in off of his foot, and the shot clock expires as the Owls grab the rebound there. White now, top of the key. Tries to go in and is called with a charge. That's going to be the Owls' third foul of this half already. You yeah. got to watch the fouls, especially in a close game like this. Back and forth. You got a five point lead here for the opponent. If you're the Owls, you can't make mistakes like that. Yeah, White trying to muscle his way into the lane, but great feet set there by Rojas. Inbounds it to Flanagan. Guarded by Miller. Quick dish out to Pierre Jr. Excuse me, to Walton. Draws the shot up there, but a foul. That's going to be Wichita's first foul this half. And Wichita shooting so far 31% from the three-point arc. As long as they can keep connecting like that, it might be an easy victory for them this half. Yeah, White now passes over to Miller on the right-hand side. Miller looking to set up the play. Finds Dunn. Dunn over to Hicks. Hicks finding Miller there, top of the key. Back over to Hicks who finds it wide open. Jalil White dribbles it in and puts the two-handed flush. Great move there going baseline and dunking it right around Rojas for his first two points of the game. What a way to first open your scoring performance in a night. What a great dunk by Joel White there. And Flanagan unable to connect there on the fadeaway two, picked up by White. 45-42 for the Shockers, 15-53 remaining. Done now off the pick from John Cooch, unable to get that one to go. His shooting woes continue. White has definitely come into the second half with a much more aggressive approach for better or for worse. So far, it's been for better. Flanagan now at the top of the Temple logo. 
Over to Rojas, working on Hicks. Blows by him, unable to get it to fall. Picked up by John Cooch on the rebound. Miller, great little outlet pass to Dunn, who's fouled. So he heads into the front row seats there. 